So when we, we think of ADHD um, from a medical perspective, we understand it as a developmental disorder. So it's something that is present in childhood. Um, and oftentimes we see adults coming forward who maybe never had symptoms of ADHD recognized because depending on your age, it might've been something that um, wasn't talked about generally or wasn't as well known. Um, as well, sometimes ADHD can be labeled as other things. Um, so for example, um, children who are more inattentive might be labeled as um, maybe just underachieving or having a learning disability, which later in life actually turns out to be ADHD. When we think about the symptoms of ADHD in children versus in adults, there are some different patterns. Adults tend to be less on the hyperactive spectrum, but still maintain a lot of the inattentive symptoms. Problems with concentrating and focus um, are, are common in both groups, um, but you won't see some of the um, high energy behaviors that you'd see in children and adults, or they're less common. So the core of ADHD um, really falls into groups of hyperactive symptoms and groups of uh, inattentive symptoms. And for adults, again, oftentimes we find that it's problems with focus and concentration that uh, people come forward complaining of. Treatment for ADHD um, is often done with medication. There are stimulant medications that work very well in adults, uh, just as they do in children. And there are other behavioral strategies that adults can often put in place to help to manage some of their symptoms. So if you think that you have ADHD, if these symptoms are troublesome to you, um, getting that help from a health, uh, health professional can help to minimize the impact on your life.